guys, I will now show you a piece of Holy Innocence by the school building with the mural graphic on it. This is the mural graphic on Holy Innocence School Building. And this is Holy Innocence Anglican Church, which was built here in 1839, between 1838 and 1839, and it was built on lands given by the owners of Ashford Plantation, and it was in one of the Bishop Coleridge Chapels of Ease, and it was built in the shape of a cross. You can see how well I kept this church yard is. My great aunt and other members take good care of the church. Yeah, Holy Innocence. So looking up towards Valley Corner. So there's a little road here between the side wall by this church cemetery and the peach pink house here. They have referred to by many residents as the line. Which will take you back to Brian's Road and where it's Hall, St. Thomas. I have lots of family buried here at Holy Innocence Church. This is my great aunt, great aunts, one of my aunts, my cousins, great uncles, and great grandparents all buried in this churchyard here. Well, mostly over this site because the one here in the churchyard is full now, so they have to bury the people over here. I mean, over here. No. Okay, back to Ashford Road. Ashford is spelled A Y S H F O R D. And this is the mural graphic on the school building again. So again, I'm in the center of the island, in the parish of St. Thomas. So there is no sea, no coastline in this parish, along of St. George as well, the two parishes here in Barbados, in the center of the island. Without any sea or coastline in it. They are best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. Innocence Primary School. This mural graphic was a recent addition. I forgot to add. I forgot to mention that this is a recent addition to Holy Innocent School. Years ago, Holy Innocent was a board and shingle school back in my mother's time. And aunt's time. Well, not well, my aunt's time, sorry. So back in Hurricane Janet, back in 1955, Holy Innocent was one of the refugees, 
on the shelters where the people can shelter from till they get their homes fit. Yeah. Janet was a hurricane that struck Barbados in September of 1955, damaging many houses and it also took some lives as well. I don't know if anybody watching this video is a survivor of Janet or was around in that time but yes, Quarry Innocent was a refuge, a uh, um, shelter back then when there was a board and shingle school and there was a boys school and a girls school back then now Holy Innocent is a a mixed school and there was also a composite school there as well so those who did not do too well in the common entrance 11 plus exam will complete their primary secondary education there to class 7 up until class 7 Those who did not do well in the 11 plus but complete their education here at Old Innocence Primary until they reach class 7. So, again, this is, will be also a, a route to St. Andrew as well which is to the east of the island, St. Andrew and St. Joseph, the two parishes here in Barbados. Best referred to as the Scotland District, to the east of the island, and be brought as the Scotland District. But uh, unfortunately, the parish of St. Andrew is not doing well right now. The parish of St. Andrew is not doing well. A lot of the roads in St. Andrew are bad and a lot of the bridges are closed so the, a lot of the arteries into St. Andrew especially the one from this way this, will be the, this, is, uh, this is also the main route to the parish of St. Andrew but unfortunately, unfortunately the one the road from this way into St. Andrew is impossible to a point so when you get to Sturgis which is in St. Thomas as well instead of going down by the Judy's watering hole if you want to get to Bell Plain or the Allen School, you have to you have to turn off by the Flower Forest at Sturgis and go through Richmond Road and go through by the Flower Forest and meet back at Richmond and meet back at Todd's Corner and then go down to Melvin's Hill and then come to Dark Hall and meet back at St. Meet back Bruceville, St. Andrew from there. But so you can enter St. Andrew from a point from Sturgis side. If you're going to as far as um back Sturge Bridge, Bruceville, the other half of Bruceville and Springville and Troy Park, uh, you can use that road. But if you're going to like Bell Plain or the Allen School or late, that road would be impossible. From Hillaby side, it's also impossible. Well, I think they were, they were building a, a temporary, they were building a temporary um, road for those people from Turner Saw side, don't Hillaby Turner Saw side, but I don't know if it's so if it's open as that. But I hear a lot of people were saying that there will soon be no way into the parish of St. Andrew. So Andrew will be off the map just now. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I'm hoping that it doesn't happen. So yes, guys. This is my review of Holy Innocence Church and School area in the parish of St. Thomas once again.
Thanks for watching and have a blessed evening.